What's good, y'all? It's me, your girl, True Siri 1111, back with another video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for your support. I'm asking you guys at this time to help me build my channel. Uh, just by getting the like, subscribe to the channel. It won't cost you a thing to hit the like and subscribe button. Those that's new, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Flip the rules if you need to. I can say he, I can mean a she. There is no gender in tarot. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to tap right in. Pull on this energy real quick. Alright, so... Someone in the energy, I don't know, they're waiting for you to call them. I'm hearing, you don't hit my line no more. So, you could have pulled your energy back from someone. Stop calling them, stop reaching out. Just stop, you pulled your energy back from someone. And now they're wondering why they're not hearing for, from you. Someone wants to reach out, but they feel like they got too much pride. Someone is, um... Not calling you because of pride and ego reasons. You call this person, because I'm hearing I still wake up from missed calls from your ass, so... This person's not reaching out to you because they're going through the dark night of the soul. All right, someone going within. Life brings new meaning. They're realizing something, all right, because they went within. You see, this is their dark side, but this is the light side. They're fighting off this dark side. So someone could be going through a spiritual awakening or just going within. I'm hearing... Ring on my phone, ring on my finger. You acting like you ain't trying to do either. You was expect expecting this person to marry you. Yeah, we have Kundalini rising. This person's going through um, a Kundalini awakening. And that's basically igniting your passion for life. So this person could be waking up. We have love and light. Act with care. This person is waking up. They're starting to see life through a different perspective yeah I'm here right now you all caught up caught up because I done left you lonely so someone could have ghosted you but when they ghosted you they end up going through some type of spiritual awakening I'm here and I just miss you I miss us this person missing you and with the connection that y'all had. The number 11, 22 could resonate with someone. The number 26 could resonate with someone. 11s are about new beginnings, all right? Give me the messages, Spirit. Give me a couple of messages. Don't bounce. Let's talk about this. Someone don't want you. They didn't want you to walk away or they don't want you to walk away. They want to talk about it. But you could have gave this person a gold shoulder. You could have ghosted them. They secretly can't stand you, though. <laughs> and someone, one of you guys, your boss has a crush on you. Maybe you ghosted your boss. I'm hearing... Let's get it straight. You don't need a nigga for nothing. Excuse my French. This is what I'm hearing. So someone knows that you don't you don't need a nigga for nothing. And at the bottom we have a ruin. All right. This is inguas. It's about fertility. The letters N and G could uh, mean something to you. Could be your first, middle, last initial. Could be the initials of this boss. It could be your initials. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't try to force it. I'm hearing you got all that good pussy and can't find no one to give it to. Excuse my French. This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> all right. 
right. Let's put these messages. Someone could drink Henny, because I'm hearing I'm going to drink this Henny to the face. Someone could drink. And I'm hearing, damn, I can't let no good kitty go to waste. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say kitty. That's the coochie. <laughs> so we're going to say kitty on this channel. Someone likes the, the, um, someone likes that you know how to go and get a bag. You could be a go-getter. You're someone that gets up and go. You get that money. You get straight, straight, straight to the money. I'm hearing, I know how to get the bag and make a bitch mad, don't I? <laughs> so, you could have a few people jealous or mad at you because you know how to get up and go make a couple dollars. You know how to go get to the bag, Okay. Can't be trusted. So, could be this boss can't be trusted. This boss might feel like you can't be trusted. Whatever, you know, to only take what resonates. It's something about a fake marriage certificate going on here. Give me one more. These people are, you could be someone, you, you're intuitive. You could be a psychic, a tarot reader. All right. You could get downloads and messages, but this person laughed at your predictions, but now they're not crying. I mean, now they're crying, though, because what the shit you predicted, it came to be true. So this person could have ghosted you because of some predictions you made. And now this person, <laughs> they crying because of everything you said, it happened to them, okay? You could be someone that has the gift of foresight. You see shit happens before it happens, okay? Yeah, unseen spirits. Okay, you someone, you you can see spirits. You see things and hear things other people can't, all right? This person could have some unseen spirits around them, or maybe you have them around you. I'm here and I'm ready to I'm ready to pull up on you. Someone wants to pull up on you. I'm here and take a shot because I'm bulletproof. All right, so whoever you are, you're protected. How it ends? Oh, something ended. Something's going to end. One more spirit. I'm hearing you just can't keep talking about it. This person feel like they could be someone that discussed their issues with someone. They tired of talking. They're ready to pull up on you. Someone could be suffering from diabetes. This person wants to pull up on you. All right. This person could be in spiritual jail. This diabetes could be like spiritual. All right. Whoever you are, you're being guided to take your um, evidence to a detective. So, say this boss had you fired or forced you out of a job. You could get them in trouble for this. Or they pulling up on you so that you won't take what your evidence to the police, okay? Doing death spells on your children. Protect your children's energy, okay? And at the bottom it has your neighbors are spying on you. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing it's my kitty or penis and I want it now. <laughs> so someone could be missing your um the passion, the, the sexual connection you guys had. Alright. That's this kundalini. A lot of passion you guys shared together. Why they can't be trusted, Spirit? Damn. I know exactly why. This person worldwide, y'all. You someone, you very adventurous. 
We have around the world and we have adventure. You could be someone that travels. The number 10 could resonate with someone. This person could have been dealing with 10 people at one damn time. This person could have traveled to 10 states, 10 cities, 10 countries, whatever. The number 10 is going to resonate with someone. And 10 is about endings. Something's coming to an end. And then 11 is about something beginning. So you got, you closed out a cycle to, to, to go. You could have been the one that closed out this cycle, went within, and then your new beginning start. You had the Kundalini awakening. Then you start seeing things from a higher perspective with this love and light. Someone don't like that you did that, okay? You woke the fuck up, basically. Why is fake marriage here? Yeah. Someone is suppressing their emotions or their feelings. Okay. Yeah, look how they sitting there looking with their hand on their head. Someone really know that they fucked up with you. And this person doesn't want to do the work. They don't want to heal. And when you look at where the hand is placed, this would be like a Reiki. Someone that's into Reiki. This is the solar plexus chakra. This is the heart chakra. Someone's scared to show love. They don't want to heal. This was in a reverse. Oh, and the other hand is over top of the crown chakra or the third eye chakra. Something could have happened in 2017, whoever this is going to resonate with. I'm here and I couldn't give it up. They, did, they wasn't willing to heal and walk away from maybe living in their south node to give it up for you. They wasn't willing to do the work. Laughed at your predictions, but now they're crying because it's true. Why are they crying? I'm here and I'm trying to control myself, but it's hard. So does someone have to work on self-discipline? Celebration. I'm hearing they turned their back on me and left me scarred. Someone walked away, they left you scarred. You the one that went within, all right? And got into this love and light energy. These people celebrated laughing at you. They made a mockery of you. They celebrated this shit. But now they're not laughing and celebrating anymore because your predictions, what you said was going to happen, actually fucking happened. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm breaking all the rules for you. For you. Someone gonna break some rules. I don't know what type of rules they're breaking to come toward you. Remember they said I said they gonna pull up. Why is unseen spirits here? Past lives. You and this person could have had a past life connection, but also what I'm getting, these unseen spirits are your ancestors or this person's ancestors. <laughs> Trying to guide this person. But this person is just, they don't want to do the work. They don't want to go within. They suppressing emotions, feelings, everything, hurt, pain. They suppressing it. And this is what's causing them to be sick, okay? Spare why is how it ends? How does it end? How is, why is this here? Clarify how does it end? Damn, okay. We have sharing, stress. Nothing is this person don't feel nothing. They feel empty as fuck without you or So someone could be lighting candles here And we have two four six they could have lit up the seven candles on you the letter P could resonate with someone But nothing came, I came out of them doing this. Walking away from you, nothing came from this. This is how I was in. They're going to have nothing or no one. I'm hearing she says she's going to do what to who? Someone going to be talking reckless or gangster toward you or behind your back. <laughs> Why is diabetes here?
maturity. This person could be very mature. You could be someone that's mature. Or it's just saying this diabetes is... I don't know how you... I don't even know how about diabetes too much. But that diabetes is like up some levels. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Because I don't, I don't know about diabetes. But this diabetes could be whooping their ass to the point it's going to cause them to mature. Someone could like, like white flowers. Why are they in spiritual jail? We have letting go. Someone didn't want to let go. And we also have water in this picture. Someone is emotional. But they got to let go. Maybe they're holding on to your energy. They need to let your energy go. This is causing them to be put in spiritual jail. The letter A could resonate with someone. It could be an eighth month, eighth day, eight weeks, okay? So, um, something about money. I'm here, I get the money and go. This person needs to let go of trying to see how it ends for you and worry about how it's going to end for them. This person don't want you to leave. They don't want to let you go. Take your evidence to a detective. Clarify this card. Take this evidence to the police. have them both. I don't want to choose. This person couldn't make their mind up between you and a the person. They wanted both of y'all, but you, you took heed and walked away. We have control. This person wanted to control you. Alright, you could be dealing with a narcissist. They wanted to, to control you so that you would not take this evidence that you have to to the detectives. Doing death spells on your children, that's about fucking violation. Big violation. You don't do shit to people, kids. Kids are innocent. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> Turning in. So these persons doing death spells, trying to do death spells on your kids, it's, it's, it's probably not working. But what it is going to cost this person to go within about themselves. And all these unseen spirits around them is trying to guide them. All right. But they're, they're already in spiritual jail or they're going to be. And that's probably because they don't want to let your entity go. And they, they, they violated you and tried to do death spells on your children. <sighs> this person is a fucking miser, yo. You're going to have some type of breakthrough that's going to complete something. It's like you missing. You see that final piece they trying to lay down on the puzzle? You missing one piece to the puzzle. And that could be you taking this evidence to the police. And they, they don't want you to know this. They hiding something. It's got three people in it. It could be three people working together. But you still... Had a breakthrough. You had an epiphany. Some type of aha moment. That's going to help. You're going to have it. That's going to help you put these pieces together. 1919 on the clock. And it's going to make you see things clearly. Alright. With this new vision here. Okay. And we have the rebel. <laughs> I'm hearing them hoes ain't fucking with you on your worst day. So you can have some hoes hating on you. Hoes could be male or female. Maybe this... Boss thought you was a hoe. They think you're a hoe. So I'm hearing 24-7. What's the 411? So this person spent all their fucking time 24-7 trying to get info on you. Boss, 
that's crushing on you, they secretly can't stand your motherfucking ass, yo. So you could have had an affair at the workplace, okay? Don't bounce, let's talk. You could have threatened them to walk away. They don't want you to walk away. They want to talk about this. This is them not letting go of your energy, okay? They, they, but they need to let go. Spirit, clarify this. Don't bounce. Let's talk about this. What do they want to talk about? This person think about you 24-7, yo. Spirit, don't bounce. Let's talk about this. Don't bounce. So the plexus chakra. Didn't I say that earlier? Someone could have been doing um, work on your um, solar plexus chakra. The number three could resonate with you. Could be the third month, third day, third week. Could be life path number three. What's going on with the solar plexus chakra? Accelerate emotions. Something's about to speed up for you. You could be someone that gazes at the stars. You feel connected to the universe. Number 38 could resonate with someone. So this person wants to move towards you quickly to come have this talk with you. This person could be having stomach issues. Solar plexus is about, it's about the stomach. Someone having stomach problems. They secretly can't stand you. Why? They secretly can't. Mm. <laughs> Alright. You have crown chakra. You're someone that's woke. They can't stand that about you. you. I told you in the beginning you have the gift of foresight. You know what I mean? They could have been trying to attack your um, solar plexus chakra and your crown chakra. And then we have rejoice and celebration. They wanted, They were celebrating this shit. Or they secretly can't stand that you always happy, always in a good mood. You always celebrating. The number 73 could resonate with someone. And then on the board, we have 33, master number 33. Someone could be an Eastern star or Freemason or something. I'm here and I got more where that came from. Someone's seeing signs. I'm hearing all I see is signs. And I'm hearing money on my mind. Someone saw that you was a, you was someone that's a member in the beginning. I said you could be a go-getter. Someone see this about you now. They didn't see this about you before. They see now that you're a go-getter. You be all about your fucking money. So you someone that's about your bread. 23, 32, 1 o'clock. Y'all could be mirroring each other. Clarify this boss has a crush on you. This boss has a crush on you. Yeah. And they want in harmony with you. Maybe this was your fuck your boss. Was your fucking um <laughs> divine partner. Number six can resonate with someone. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm here and put down my money. So someone's ready to stop. Okay, you could be dealing you could have been dealing with someone that's very materialistic as well. Harmony. Clarify harmony. Money, money on my mind. I do not own copyrights to any music. You hear me humming, singing, talking about none of that shit. Movement choices, decisions. Someone wants to move forward with you and make some type of decision. This could be your boss. This boss could want to come toward you. I also see, um, what's this, rings, wedding rings maybe? This, this boss want harmony with you. All right, so we got 376 and we have 832. These numbers to resonate with you. And we have awareness. You already know this. Remember crown shop right here? Look at the crown being highlighted. All right. You're aware of this. You already know this boss was crushing on you. You already knew this boss secretly can't stand you. And remember we had light, love and light out here. They can't stand that you move in that energy too. 
You could be someone that help others, heal others, love and light. You see the good in motherfuckers. That boss couldn't stand that about you. It could have forced you to go in solitude, or this boss could be in solitude. Okay? Start. Um, you move out of, you saw, saw some shit. Remember I said third eye chakra? You could have seen something. You were shown something about this boss. And then we have the waiting game. But if you see it, the sand is almost out. So whoever this boss is, they know they're running out of time to go make things right with you. They're running out of time. I'm here and I ain't playing no games when it come to you. So this person could come in. They could be serious. Yo, they really want harmony with you. I'm hearing big bank rolls in my pocket. This boss could have some money. Or you could have some money. I'm here tats on my face. You or this boss could have a tattoo on your face. They trying to spend this money who they... I say, I'm hearing, I'm trying to spend it all with who I got it with. Maybe you and your, this boss could have got some money together somehow or something. But it's like when you left, he realized you was their luck. I'm hearing one good soul out the window. I'm hearing I want you to be mine again, baby. You had a work affair with your boss. This boss wants you back. I'm hearing I cannot see myself without you. This boss, I don't know, he might be stuck. He might be a little lost. <laughs> I'm hearing I'm going out of my way just to see you. This person could be trying to meet you somewhere or run into you in public. They want you back. You could also be someone that's a healer because diabetes came out. You, you probably have the ability to, to help this person along their journey with the diabetes. You could be a healer. I'm hearing I hope you know I need you. I'm hearing I'll get up on my knees, babe. All right, so this person really willing to take a knee for you, go down and propose to you. Remember I said them rings is there. It's like they're making a decision to move toward you. All right. Are we going to end this video? Are we going to pull some um, letters, y'all? See if I can get a name for you guys. If God allows me to do that. You know, sometimes a name won't even come out, but we're going to see. We're going to test the waters. <laughs> Some things is not meant for us to completely know, you know. But we're going to pull 12 um, cards. Spirit, give me 12 cards. Um, first, middle, last, initial, or name. I'm hearing, I'll go out of my way just to please you. This person going to go out their way to please you. Because they want you to be theirs again, all right? So if you know you had a work affair, this is a day giveaway, Okay. We have W. N. S. T. A. I. Another T. <laughs> we have a Y. <laughs> We have an L. I'll tell y'all why I'm laughing in a minute. Hold the fuck up here. Alright. Give me three more, Spirit. We have a P. We have a G. <laughs> we have a D. <laughs> All right. We have wait. This person is waiting to come toward you for some reason, but it's like they missing one piece to the puzzle. 
So my name could be Pat, Patty. I see Sin. So my name could be Sincere. I see A's, y'all. I don't know. A-I-D-S. Or say it. I say it what I say it. <laughs> I don't know why I just, that just came out the blue. I don't know. You could look at this person like they're a pig. All right. They could look at you like you a pig. You got pig out here. Someone nicknamed could be pig. We have gap. Someone could have a gap in their teeth. STD. I don't know why STD is sticking out. It's not out here, but I'm getting ponytail. You could be someone that loves wearing ponytails. Answer. Someone could be coming towards you to give you some type of answers. So, I'm listening to this. Um, Cardi B is on. And it's the one that goes... Uh, hold on. It says, I like it. This is her song, I like it. And some parts of it is um, Spanish. Some guy is singing Spanish music. Your boss could be um, Latino of a Latino descent. Latin, Spanish, Dominican. They speak Spanish. We have stay. They want you to. They they wanted you to stay. They did not want you to leave. But you was going in to win. I see win. Not w i n d. You was going in to win. <laughs> I'm hearing he's so handsome. What's his name? You could have thought your boss was very handsome. Or pretty. It could be, you know, it's terrible. It ain't no gender. I could be talking to a male or a female. You made this person nervous, though. I'm hearing that bitch make you nervous. You made this boss nervous. Or they could be nervous to come toward you. We got gypsy out here. You could be a gypsy. Your boss could be a gypsy. We have pain. Your boss could be in pain. You could uh, endure some type of pain. I see Dipsy. <laughs> Someone could have thought you was Dipsy. I see ID. Did your boss use your ID for something? I see pay. Pay. Your boss might want to come to you to give you some money. Or they were supposed to pay you and they didn't. I see pits. They can feel like they in the pits right now. I see pity. Your boss could have pitied you. Or you pitied them. Papa paparazzi like Americana. Paparazzi, they watch you. They follow you. This boss could be watching you. They could be looking at pictures of you or sneaking pictures of you. Mami a la cosa. Souffle yo cadora rosa. Someone could come towards you with some roses. They like it like that, though. That's what I have for y'all. Again, the initials are W-N-S-T-I-D-T-Y-I-P-G-A. All right? 
that's what I have for y'all. I hope this helped bring some clarity into your situation. Wishing you guys nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm trying to at least get up to 10,000 followers. Support your girl. Peace.